and early voting starts on Saturday in our community. And if you want to do the traditional vote in person on November 5th, you have 19 days. And let's talk it out right now. What's at stake? John Ralston, the CEO and editor of the Nevada Independent, joins us live this morning. And John, so early voting has started in the state of Georgia. They had record turnout. People for the very first day standing in line for hours. Do you have any predictions for what we will see here locally this weekend? Well, I think it'll be big, uh, Kim. Uh, the Democrats especially are trying to juice the first day of early voting by having Barack Obama come in and no one energizes Democrats more than the former president. So they're hoping to have a good showing on the first day. But remember, it's two weeks of early voting. And so I don't think you can draw a lot of conclusions, whether it's here or Georgia from the first day. But it's a presidential year. There's a lot at stake. I think turnout's going to be very high. All right, so we have Kamala Harris, who goes into enemy territory, if you will, sitting down with Brett Baer and Fox News for a contentious interview yesterday. On the flip side, you see Donald Trump doing a lot of town halls. He's also done a lot of different economic forums. And I got a phone call from a girlfriend that I went to University of Florida with, and she went, oh my gosh, are you guys putting on the news what just happened? I said, what? He's being asked economic questions and he is veering off apparently into some weird tangents. Do you think the Harris campaign is going to use those clips and continue to say that he has a mental acuity issue, something that the Republicans were using against her former boss, Joe Biden, the current president? I, I think she already is, uh, Kim, and she's going to continue to do so. I mean, we're talking about a sliver of voters right now who are still undecided in this race. And there may be some voters who were either Trump voters or leaning towards Trump who may be affected by showing some of his bizarre uh, tangents that he's taking in some of these town halls and interviews. I mean, he is saying some very, very strange things, almost incoherent at times, and I'm being generous by saying almost. So I think that they will continue to use it. What impact it has, as you know, Kim, people are so set, except for just a few uh, voters in the key swing states, including Nevada, where it's neck and neck. And the United States Senate uh, possibly hanging in the balance with Jackie Rosen, the Democrat, and Sam Brown, the Republican. They are going to debate in just hours from now. What do you expect to see as they hash out the issues, John? Well, Sam Brown's behind, Kim. He's behind in every poll. And even though polling is problematic in Nevada, the trends matter. And even the Republicans know he's behind. They've adjusted their TV buys. Nevada is not as prominent a state for the Republicans as a possible pickup. So Sam Brown really needs to change the trajectory of this race. Uh, and I'm going to give a sh shameless plug here. Kim, we are having Sam Brown at our two-day conference called Indie Fest that starts tonight and carries through tomorrow. And so we'll have an interview with him, and, and hopefully that'll get some attention. Oh, I, have, I know people watching right now are all in, including myself. Let's talk a little bit about some of the language we're also starting to see, um, and Donald Trump is doubling down on this, talking about the enemy from within. And you have his former security advisors, and these are high-ranking former officials saying that he is the enemy. Do you think that's going to gain any traction? You know, it's really hard to tell with such a short time before the election what's going to cut through all the noise and, and the chaos of all of the ads for not just the presidential race, but the Senate race and the down ballot stuff. But again, he has said some fairly unhinged stuff talking about the enemy within, hinting that maybe uh, the National Guard or the military should be used uh, to get to do something about the radical leftists and communists as he talks about them. Uh, but you just never know what Donald Trump might say. And even less, you don't know what he might do, Kim. And so sometimes people, uh, and Donald Trump is uh, an extreme example of this, say things that there's no way they're going to be able to do. But just the chance that he might do some of the things that he's claiming he's going to do, I think worries some people. Well, uh, Las Vegas's Jimmy Kimmel would end up behind bars, that's for sure. It's, you see his monologue every night, and he goes right at the former president. John, thank you. We always love your time and talent on the program. Good luck with the event tonight. I know people watching right now will be all in. Thank you. Thanks, Kim.